before 20 things grow and Ontario welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen this is another unboxing and while I'm holding it like this is because I ran out of storage space and I had to delete some older videos uh, I always hate deleting videos off of the memory card but I had to do it so I'm bringing you this unboxing Bang! so you've seen the name in the description what type of fan this is and um there are other more expensive ones. I have a AC Infinity version of this type of fan uh, in my 2x4. And packaging-wise, this is done in foam on the AC Infinity, I'm pretty sure. But it seems like this works too. No damage to the box. No damage to the fan. So we pull the fan out. A strap to hang. Maybe two straps. Looks like two straps. Assuming that's the controller. A little book and some anchors and some screws nothing else in the box so <clears throat> let's look at the fan it is orange kind of bright uh, shows you the airflow this way uh, it's got the spider farmer thing so this is uh, a unit that I've purchased myself this is not a sponsored item there's a couple ways you can buy this if you like this and you want to try it out as well Check out the links in my description. I have some coupon code over on Spider Farmer. Um, you can use that on their website. It's 420 things. You can also go to eBay, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what they all have on eBay. I don't know if they have this specific fan on eBay. Check it out there. Also on Amazon, if you use any of my Amazon links in the description, which I'll have one for this. It goes to my Amazon Associates account, and you can do that there. But this Spider Farmer uh, fan is... Uh, considerably cheaper um, than the uh, AC Infinity version. I I've had my AC Infinity Cloud 9 T4 forever. I have nothing bad to say about it. We'll see how long this lasts. We'll see how uh, it goes. Sort of like a comparison. Um, so we got a plug. And we got, what is this? It's like a super micro, it's like a small headphone jack, even smaller than regular headphone. The book. Gives you some buttons high humidity low humidity gives you some background on that stuff let's get into this box what do we got in here yep the controller uh some more screws and anchors there's the sensor what does this say move this cap to use plastic cap to use oh jeez this is hard on oh, there good jesus yeah, that's on there really good. It's like a, it says plastic, it's rubber. Um, we're going to do a calibration on this next. This is uh, the sensor that we're going to use for humidity and temperature. It's, like I said, that super micro. Let's see what's on here. I don't know if it's super micro. That's, I'm making that up, F FYI. Uh, oh, okay, sensor, which is a smaller one. And this is how you control the fan. Okay. I guess it's just controlling it with like a headphone jack instead of some other things. All right, cool. So let's, uh, let's put this on pause. And we'll get this plugged in. We're not going to turn the fan on. Fan's a fan. It's going to blow. It may be loud. It may be quiet. Who knows? But this is a six-inch fan. I'm never going to run it at the full thing. So... Let's get that in. Let's get a bag with my 62% humidity and let's, uh, let's uh, calibrate this. Say, so what is that beeping sound? Well, that's because the sensor is not plugged in. Okay, so that's uh, something that the AC Infinity does not offer. So I kind of like that because mine, I used kind of hang it over the side. It wasn't secured into the wall. If that comes out, that'd be nice to know. So... Just thought I'd show you guys that. All right, so what I have here is my trusty, handy-dandy 62% humidity boost pack. Uh, this link are for in the description as well. Go check out those out. They were good for curing stuff and also calibrating um, hygrometers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here, and then it's not sealed, so I just kind of fold it over a few times, and then I'm going to leave it sit in here. Um... Well, the AC Infinity one goes up pretty quick. You see that? I got it on super wide angle here. So it's at 54%. And 
and it's on off. So I don't want to have it on. So um, as you can see, this one's at, oh, I guess you can't see, 62%, at 62%, 55, it's going up. So we're going to put this on pause and we're going to come back. All right. So um, if you look at the instruction booklet, um, to, to calibrate this unit, it does not tell you how to do it in the instructions anywhere, whether they're upside down or right side up. So um, I've reached out uh, to somebody at Spider Farmer because I, I do have a, um, a light sponsored with them. So I do have a coupon code. So uh, always check out the links in the description. Um, but to calibrate this, it's a little bit wonky. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to put this video on pause, okay? And I'm going to go, and I've got this unit now installed. I now got the instructions of how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on pause. We're going to go in, and I'm going to show you how to calibrate this for both humidity and temperature. All right, so into calibration. First step is you have to get this unit into the off mode so you're going to push this far left button until it's in the off position now what we're going to do is we're going to take heed of my temperature 71 and 57 percent and what i'm going to do is i'm going to push these two outside buttons and hold them you have to hold them until it starts to flash oh there it goes it flashes so now if you want it to go up Say you're 70 and it was really 74, you would do that. And then it would be 74 when you go back. But if you're going to do negative, let's say if it says 70 and you want to be 66, you'd have to go down negative 1, 2, 3, 4, which is really 104. <clears throat> okay? It's a little bit wonky, but that's how you do the negative for both humidity and the temperature. So now to get to humidity, I push and hold the two outside buttons. And then I'm going to wait and you're going to see it's going to switch. Oh, see, top right hand corner. I already have it set to minus one because mine was off by minus one so same thing up down if you need to go up a percentage you go up and if you want to go down you got to go down to the 101 and 102 three four five keep going that way so that's it that that's how you do it then once you're done you push the two outside buttons okay and then what you're going to see is the humidity automatically jumps right away as you can see 65 right away and then this one two three it's going to adjust slowly okay that's it. So now you can calibrate your unit and this is how you do it.